Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are here with this problem 20 of your paper. It's a problem of general aptitude. So let us have a look. Examine the following statements. Fat cells normally produces hormone A in proportion to the amount of fat. Obese individual, however, have lower than normal level of hormone A. Hormone A reduces food intake. Which of the following is a valid inference based on the above statements? So you have two statement and what you have to do, you have to find out a correct conclusion. All right. So these are the conclusion that we have from these two statements. Now what we have to do, we have to find out a correct conclusion of these A and B. All right, statement A and B. So let us read uh, this again. What it says, fat cells normally produces hormone A. So what question is saying, the fat cell will produce hormone A in proportion to the amount of fat. Obese individuals, however, have lower than normal level of hormone A. Now for the knowledge purpose, all right, it has nothing to do with the problem. But for the knowledge purpose, I can tell you that this hormone A that your question is talking about is leptin. It is called leptin, all right. So what is the work of leptin? It reduces food intake. Suppose you have excess amount of leptin in your body produced by the fat cell, then you will not feel hungry. Are you getting my point? So this is what your question is talking about that fat cell will produce leptin and because of this production of the leptin, what will happen? You will stop of uh, you will stop taking food. That means you will feel that you are not hungry if if there is enough leptin in your body. Now it says obese people. So obese people actually means people who have obesity. Obesity means accumulation of fat. All right. So fatty people are uh, actually called obese people. It is, uh, it is telling us that obese individuals, however, have lower than normal level of hormone A. It means that because they have lower level of hormone A, that is why we are getting individuals to be to we, uh, individuals are getting obesity. Are you getting my point? So because of the lower level of hormone A, obese people, uh, oh, we are, the individual will be uh, will be a obese individual. Are you getting my point? So now let us try to read statements over here. It says impaired production of hormone A causes obesity. So impaired production of hormone A, what is the meaning of this statement? It is, it has a simple meaning that impaired means less number, less production, all right, not a proper production. So less production of hormone A will cause obesity. Yeah, it is correct because that is why they, they are fatty people. Because suppose it happens that in a, in a, in a individual, the hormone A is in enough state, all right. Uh, it is in an enough state, then what will happen? He will not feel hungry. And because he will not feel, feel hungry, that is why he will never bec become an obese individual. So it means that first option is correct. This is what we can conclude from here. Second one says impaired action of hormone A causes obesity. Although it can happen, all right, it can happen that hormone A is not doing its job properly and that is why people are getting um, obesity problems. So what's, uh, is this correct? No, it is not correct because it cannot be concluded from here. Question in the, in the statements, question is not talking about the action of the hormone. That is why we cannot mark this as correct because it cannot be concluded from here and we need valid state inference based on the above statements. So B is incorrect. Third one says obesity results into low level of hormone A. No, it is not correct because uh, it was given to us that fat cells 
will normally produce hormone A and in obesity people already have fats all right obesity people ob obesity in obese people already they have fats so it uh, it it is not resulting into low level of hormone it will result into greater level of hormone all right so third one is incorrect fourth one says excess food intake causes depletion of hormone of a so it says excess food intake causes depletion of hormone a so it is incorrect because according to the body all right a human body is designed in such a way that suppose you take much food then what will happen fat cell will produce hormone a and hormone a will result re, uh, food intake all right so if you are taking excess food then it is resulting more number of hormone a all right more quantity for the hormone a so it is incorrect it cannot be depletion that is why fourth one is incorrect so this is how we can solve although it is uh, it has nothing to do with the biology so what we have to do we are doing mathematics over here so what we are going to do we are just concluding from these two statement what is given to us all right nothing else so if you have any doubt regarding this problem what you can do you can always ask in comments and also if you have any other doubt than this one then you what you can do you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups uh, links we have uh, links are given in the description so from there you can join so thank you